Good afternoon and welcome to another video from My Random Hobbies. I'm just sat here surrounded by all my things having a nice cheeky ginger beer, um, which I do enjoy, non-alcoholic of course. And I thought today we'd have a look at some of the cars that I have in relation to some of the TV programmes I watched when I was younger, which of course is why they're in my collection. So let's have a look at them. <laughs> So today I thought we'd talk about some of the TV sort of themed cars that I have in my collection and I'm going to pick up two main ones today uh, because they're the ones that I remember when I was young particularly watching on a Saturday night uh, when we always a family sat down together um, you know we'd all played out during the day perhaps and mum and dad whether work had been finished all the ironing, all the cooking, all the cleaning, etc. And Saturday for us was a day where we as sons, uh, there were four of us, we were responsible for getting Saturday night tea sorted. And that inevitably was bacon, uh, bacon butties on a Saturday night, which was a nice, nice way to round off the, the weekend, I, I thought, in, in essence. Uh, and there were programs on telly on a Saturday night, which which you just don't sort of get really now. Um, I know nowadays it's all about your Anton Dex Saturday night takeaways and those sorts of things, Strictly Come Dancing. But when we were younger, it, there were sort of main programs that you would watch as a youngster. And almost everyone our age would have watched these at some point or other. Certainly if you were a boy, maybe if you were a girl, I'm not sure. And And the first one I'm going to pick out is the A-Team. Okay, and now again, as, as many of you will know from watching previous videos of mine, the A-Team, uh, or the, the reason I collect some of these and leave them in the packages is not just because of sort of value and all the rest of it, although it does damage them a little bit if you take them out, but more for the artwork that goes alongside um, these cards. Uh, and again, you'll notice the sort of standard 18 logo with the bullet holes uh, looking like it's part of the van itself uh, and again on the back on the reverse you also have the helicopter uh, Murdoch obviously often flew in the helicopter as well and on the back here uh, it's got a couple of phrases uh, that the team used to say so Murdoch says I'm nuts that's why I'm so good face uh, who was always the sort of suave um, ladies' man, shall we say. It's the singer, not the song, as uh, his line. B.A., I ain't going on no plane, which is always great. And Hannibal, I love it when a plan comes together. And always say that as he lit up a cigar at the end. So this van in particular is uh, made by Greenlight, and it's part of their Hollywood collection. And Greenlight are an alternative company obviously to the likes of Hot Wheels and Matchbox and they make limited edition die cast cars uh, and vehicles and the BA's van um, for those of you who don't know is a 1983 GMC Vandura okay and again I hadn't really noted the two-tone effect on the van when I was younger, I often thought it was all black with just a red stripe, but it actually has a two-tone effect on it. I actually have an older toy that I had of the 18 van as well. And this one I think is uh, Galoob, never heard of Galoob. Um, but this one used to be able to push that into like a key fob and it would fire off the van. Um, so an extra thing, and it, it, there was another one as well, their Faces Car Corvette, which I've got here as well, that also had that sort of ability to be pushed onto some sort of key fob or key, and it would fire off the car at speed. So they, they were good fun to play with, so I've, I've managed to find those when I was at my mum and dad's house. So there they are, I also have a slightly bigger version of the 18 van. Yeah, from my childhood uh, and again 
this one was made by Ertl, or quite a common make for, I suppose, TV vehicles back in the day. And they made other, obviously, die-cast cars as well. So Ertl there, um, slightly bigger in comparison to that one there. Okay. So that's my sort of A-team collection, if you like. But I, I do like the artwork that comes with the boxes, which is why I keep them in. The only disappointment with this one, uh, and I have contemplated getting another one because of it, um, and again, it's, it's, it's a really minor thing, but the tyre, I don't know if you can see, is actually on the rear tyre. It's not on fully. So... <laughs> It's, it's my OCD, I guess, but it does bug me a little bit. Um, so that's my A-Team car, uh, and that sits up on my shelf up there. And the second Saturday Night programme that certainly I remember as a boy, um, and again, one of those things where you think, what was it about? And when you listen to the theme tune, it was about a stuntman who basically solved all sorts of various sort of crimes and things, I guess. Um, and that was the Fall Guy. Okay, and again, it's the artwork that I like going alongside these. Okay, yes, I could take it out of the packet. Yes, I could have the truck. But actually, once you separate the truck from the package, it's a truck. It's a truck that reminds you of the Fall Guy, whereas this, it very, very much tells you this is the Fall Guy's truck and here is the artwork to go with it. And again, on the back, exactly the same this time as on the front not different like the A-Team was um, and again this is a 1982 GMC K 2500 you know, Americans would say we would say 2500 uh, but again the detail on these trucks is amazing and true to the TV show because it was his truck um, he was the stunt guy there is the logo of his stunt association or whatever on the front of the truck as well. So I do like green light cars for that reason. Uh, I do have a couple of other green light cars. They're not TV related. But again, sitting on a Saturday night, Fall Guy, A-Team were two definite go-tos. The only other two green lights I've got at the moment, and there are a couple others I'd like to get at some point in the future, but... Smokey and the Bandit, which is a great film, but again, for me as a child, the Pontiac Firebird, who could go wrong, really? It was a great looking car, and again, 1977, which is pertinent to me because it's the year I was born, so for that reason, I do really like this car, and again, the detail on these things is fantastic, okay? Um, and again, because a kind of limited edition, it, it kind of makes it a bit better. And this one again, this is just a blue Jeep, 1972 Jeep. But stick it with the artwork, Mork and Mindy, what a brilliant series. Uh, Robin Williams, amazing, amazing actor. Um, such a shame uh, he's no longer with us, but, but fantastic as Mork. And then Mindy was Pam Dalba. Or Dorba, I'm not sure how you pronounce her name actually. But again, sometimes on the backs of these things, it tells you a little bit more about um, what you've got here. And so it says here, Mork and Mindy was a spin-off from an episode of Happy Days. Didn't realise that, in which Mork, an alien from the planet Hawk, attempted to kidnap Richie. So popular was Mork that he was given his own series in 1978, and it became an instant hit. Mork, a misfit and orc, because of his sense of humour, was sent off to study earthlings whose crazy customs uh, the orcans had never been able to understand. Mork landed in a giant eggshell, hence the egg there in the O, near Boulder, Colorado, and was befriended by pretty Mindy McConnell, a music store clerk. Mork looked human, but his strange mix of Orkin and Earthling customs led most people to think of him as just some kind of nut. Aware of his origins, Mindy helped him adjust to Earth's strange ways. So again, it's just a nice little thing to have in my collection. So they're my green light cars. The two, A-Team and Fall Guy, Saturday night, definitely with bacon butties, round the um, TV as a family, it, just memories for me. 
Uh, and remember, this is what my collection is about. Um, your collection may be different. Your collection may be for lots of different reasons. That's what mine is. Why don't you tell me what your collection is? Why you collect? Um, you know, let me know uh, what sort of things you have and why you do it. Because um, I'd be interested to know. So please comment below. Please like and subscribe. And of course, don't forget, press the bell as well because that'll tell you when I'm going to do uh, another video when I've got another video coming up but thank you for watching thank you for ent entertaining me by watching and we shall see you again very very soon take care bye bye